Hello, I'm Dina Smith. Welcome to the announcement of the finalists for the 2020 QWF Literary Awards, coming to you from the beautiful and historic Atwater Library and Computer Center. This year, we're doing things a little differently. Every day during the week of October 13th, we will bring you a new video reveal of the finalists for one of seven categories. First book, children's literature, translation, playwriting, poetry, nonfiction, and fiction. Be sure to tune in throughout the week to find out who made the shortlist. Since 1988, the QWF Literary Awards have celebrated the best works published by English language writers and translators of Quebec, as well as those translating English works from Quebec into French. Each award comes with a purse of $3,000. All winners of this year's prizes will be announced during a special celebratory video broadcast gala at 7 p.m. on Wednesday, November 4th, so save the date. Before we get into our category finalists, the QWF would like to thank this year's sponsors. John Blatchford, The Cole Foundation, Concordia University, Librairie Paragraph Bookstore, Gabrielle Safdie, and three anonymous donors. Today, we announce the finalists for the 2020 Prix de Traduction de la Fondation Cole, sponsored by the Cole Foundation. This year's prize goes to the French translation of an English language book written by a Quebec author. This year's jury was composed of writers Charles Bender, Samuel Mercier, and Chantal Ringuet, all of Montreal. The first finalist is Catherine Ego. She is nominated for two titles. Noir sous surveillance, esclavage, répression et violence d'État au Canada, published by Mémoire d'Encrier. And Zolitude, published by Édition du Boréal. Catherine Ego has translated numerous novels as well as works in the fields of poetry, science, health, sociology and the environment, essays on Canadian and world history or other themes in political science, and a substantial body of Inuit literature. Ego is also an author and actor, bringing to life on the stage both her own texts and those of other writers. The first book she is nominated for is Noir sous surveillance, Esclavage, répression et violence d'État au Canada a translation of Policing Black Lives, State Violence in Canada from Slavery to the Present by Robin Maynard from Fernwood Publishing. Delving behind Canada's veneer of multiculturalism and tolerance, Policing Black Lives traces the violent realities of anti-blackness from the slave ships to prisons, classrooms and beyond. A call to action, this book urges readers to work towards dismantling structures of racial domination and reimagining a more just society. The second book she is nominated for is Zolitude, a translation of Zolitude by Paige Cooper, published by Biblioasis. A collection of short stories, Zolitude is fantastical, magnetic, and harsh, with broken down motorbikes, and housebroken tyrannosaurs, cheap cigarettes, and mail bombs, this book finds the beautiful and the disturbing in both the surreal and the everyday. The last finalist is Benoit Laflamme for Eclipse Electric, published by Édition du Boréal. Benoit Laflamme began his career as a translation consultant, working in the federal government to translate debates and parliamentary services. Today, he now includes poetry collections, essays, travel writing, and video games in his vast repertoire. He is nominated for Eclipse Electric, his translation of The Knockoff Eclipse by Melissa Bull, published by Anvil Press. Eclipse Electric is a short story collection firmly rooted in the streets and landmarks of Montreal. With elements of the surreal running through them, these Montreal stories are modern feminist fables for the reader who is decidedly uninterested in upholding the moral of the story as it's been traditionally told. Congratulations to all of the finalists and their publishers. 
You can buy copies of the shortlisted works by visiting Paragraph Bookstore either in person or on the store's website at paragraphbooks.com. Paragraph has a special section dedicated to the QWF Award finalists with all titles available at a discount. Be sure to tune in every day at 11 a.m. from October 13th to October 19th to discover the finalists in all of the other categories as they too are announced. And if you miss the initial broadcast, the video will be posted on our website at qwf.org. We'll also be tweeting, Instagramming, and Facebooking. Be sure to follow us online. And don't forget to join us on November 4th for our virtual literary awards gala, where we will be celebrating the finalists and the winners. Happy reading.